So, what is the past, present, future of y'all's relationship? That is the vibe that I'm getting. Somebody out there is kind of like looking back, reflecting over the relationship that you've had with someone. And you are kind of like, you know, what is going on? Like, where have we been with this? What's what? Okay, in the past of y'all's relationship, there was a lot of destruction. I'm seeing the child's past relationship was pretty toxic. It was not good. It was not good. Neither one of y'all were willing to be vulnerable. Vulnerability in the reverse. Neither one of y'all were willing to be vulnerable. You were both keeping your feelings just submerged. Iceberg, right? In the upright. Submerged. Submerged. Nobody was willing to get deep about anything at all. Nobody was willing to get deep about anything at all. Period. Um, he was terrible. Okay. We see the masculine in this situation. Look, King in reverse. <sighs> he was terrible. He was terrible. Very entitled, very spoiled, um, very vain, making a relationship very stressful to be quite honest. Okay. Making things very stressful. We see the masculine energy was just huge in this relationship. We see radiance from the summer solstice energy. You see that sun? That sun is humongous. It is just flaming around like a ball. His energy was just off the chain. Like we see him king in reverse. Huge, huge, huge ego over here. Okay. Destruction at the beginning. Neither one of y'all willing to be vulnerable, keeping your feelings to yourselves. He walking around here acting like he just missed the entitlement. It was a mess. Y'all's relationship out the gate, it just, it wasn't right. Um, your present relationship, we just want to see what energies are present. That's what we're looking for. Right now, y'all see that. Y'all see it. Okay. We see detective in the reverse. Y'all situation is still toxic. There's a lot of spying going on. There's a lot of who is this person? What's going on? Why did this happen? Why did that happen? Things still are not good. Things still are not good. There's spying going on. We see the prince in the reverse this time, okay? So now we see this. We see him. He even toned it down a little bit, but he still he still has a sense of entitlement. I'm getting that he may have toned it down a bit, kind of just due to age. But he he still he's still doing a lot. Um, he's still doing a whole lot. You're still very much kind of naive too to some of what he does. We see child divine innocence purity. You still have a naivete where you really not quite a hundred percent looking at him for exactly who he is you're not seeing him for 100 percent who he is he doesn't like to spend time alone um and really to reflect or to be mature this is the same energy saw with this iceberg in the upright we're seeing with the island in the reverse this man is not really willing to do the work to improve himself he's he's a bit immature He's immature in that he's destructive. You're immature in that you're not even realistic about everything that's going on. You're kind of phony with yourself. You see what you want to see. You're seeing the good in him in situations where there are times you need to be realistic about him bringing the bad to the situation. What did I just say? We just put reflection in the reverse. This man is not going to sit back and reflect about nothing. If that's what you're waiting for in present day, that's not that's not even in the cards literally that's not who he is what is the future of this relationship we see activation in the reverse we really don't see anything new happening um we do see you all continuing to be very passionate fire energy i'm getting that both of you may be sagittarius or maybe some person is one person is sagittarius moon while the other person is sagittarius sun or venus there may be aries but you guys both have heavy fire energies you may even both be uh, heavy masculine energies too in your chart in terms of somebody has a quite a bit of water, but there's a lot of fire and masculine in this relationship. Um, we see this passion kind of getting everything bubbling between y'all. Y'all often have like little outbursts. It's outburst. It's turbulent. Y'all do a little bit of fighting. You know, y'all do a little bit of fighting. And when this little fighting starts, when, when things start to brew up and bubble up between y'all, there is no stopping it. There's no mediation that can come to it. Um, there's nobody that can negotiate and calm y'all down. Y'all are not that type of couple. 
okay and things just remain kind of disharmonious listen this this relationship that y'all have it's, it's been the same since y'all were younger it's the same now it's gonna be the same you really don't see any change coming to it um you need to really shield yourself because y'all are y'all are going around in a circle i'm hearing that song remember that you got me going in circles y'all going in circles y'all are going in circles what did i say there's quite a bit of water sign energy with one of y'all perhaps it's you cancer scorpio pisces y'all are going around in circles going around in circles invigorating the same cycle over and over and over again okay invigorating the same cycle over and over it's time to do a core cutting okay the situation will improve once that core cutting is done because remember that's what we pull first um y'all's connection is sacred though i get the feeling that it was established very long ago um but you have kind of been his infinite narcissistic supply let's just tell the truth infinite supply okay girl with snake empath and narcissist paradigm you do have power. I have power. It is real. This is what he feels. You don't feel this way about yourself. You do not just sit around and think those types of thoughts about yourself. That is really not who you are. <laughs> so you're more of a humble spirit. You're more of the empath in it as we see girl with snake. He thinks this about himself though. Okay. He's sitting back like, I know I'm powerful. <laughs> he really sits back and thinks like that. Okay. We pull Celtic here again. There is so much history. Y'all have a very thick and rich history to this relationship. And this is what kind of keeps you there. We see the star. You always rekindle with this person. You always come back to them. Um, this person can be very chivalrous and protective. And that's made it difficult for you to just bounce. They do have a serious affinity for you. Okay. As y'all go through these cycles over and over again. But again, if y'all see this card here, okay, we see the queen. She is literally cutting the flower as it looks at her, okay? She's just cutting it up by the root. As painful as this is going to be, this is going to be painful to disassociate from this person. It will be very painful. Cutting this person off will feel like you are tasked with cutting your own heart out. It will be, you, you really have a deep attachment to this person. But it, it's just not really going anywhere. Okay, we just pulled no. It's not the right time. You might not be ready to cut this person off yet. You're not ready. You're not ready for that pain. You'll have to give it time. You just pull, give it time. But you may have to communicate. You may have to even go to therapy to do this. The roots of this relationship are really, really deep. So you might need to do some deep communication just to like, this isn't something you're going to be able to just get out of because of the history. But rest assured, this just isn't really going anywhere yet. Helpful people. You really want to get yourself, okay, angels. You really want to kind of pray and get therapy and just kind of get through this so that you can awaken. We pulled awaken so that you can just kind of get out of this because this person is kind of who they're going to be, okay? And you need to kind of get independent of them. They're who they're going to be. They're who they've always been. Ace of Pentacles. If you were to get independent of them now, you will find yourself with more to offer the world. This person and this toxic energy, it has drained on you and drained on you and drained on you. And you've kind of never really been able to offer the world what you would like to have offered the world. Um, two of swords. That's because you guys tend to, again, the relationship is very shallow. You guys don't get very deep with each other. So whatever is turbulent in the two of you emotionally, as it relates to this, this relationship, you guys don't even share it with each other. You just keep dragging and fighting, bothering each other, you know, and he makes fun of you. He tells you like, you think you mother Teresa. I mean, you think you're such a great person, you know, he finds your ability to try to show gratitude and to look at the, the bright side. He thinks you're corny. Look at you, want to be Earth Angel. We pulled Earth Angel. That's how he feels. Look at you, want to be Earth Angel. Who you think you are? Jesus. Okay. He's self-indulgent. 
There's a version of you from the past photograph, looking at your old photos, nostalgia, Six of Cups energy once again. Y'all, Six of Cups energy just hunts me, okay? It's been hunting me for the last maybe three weeks. But there's a version of you from the past that he prefers, okay? He used to feel you were more committed to him, the Hierophant. He felt at one time you were more committed to him. Uh, my, my vibe from this is that you were probably more of a doormat. But there's something you told him, vows. There's something you told him that he felt put you in doormat energy, and he liked that, that he feels you broke. You said, you you know, I thought you were this type of girl, and you mean you not? He feels like you transformed. He has bitterness about this. He feels like you transformed on him, okay? This medicine woman healer energy you bring in, this moon energy, cycles and rhythm, this high feminine energy. He feels like this is sabotaging y'all's relationship. He feels like he should have slowed down and continuing to be with you for this long. He should have found out more about you because you are not who he thought you were. That's how he feels. This man is a bit of a rat too. He's like the type of guy, he in the street. I keep seeing these types of guys in these readers. Kind of street outside a lot very sensitive and messy you know always trying to mind your business he'll be outside all night long let you sit on the phone past 11 o'clock he gonna keep walking in the kitchen trying to act like he looking for the chips just trying to see what you're doing and you catch everything he does half the word receptivity you catch it all this man watches everything you do watch and look and stalk and gaslight he don't let you get away with nothing Four of Pentacles. He don't let you get in that way with nothing. He holds on to you like his life depends on it. But he go outside in the street like he wants to. Do what he wants to. Get his fulfillment how he wants to. Nine of Cups. Get his fulfillment how he wants to. Five of Cups. This man sits around and grieves. He grieves over just general life traumas. He's kind of dramatic. He, he gets a little Hennessy. He drinks a little bit, you know, and get to talking about how you don't know you wasn't there. When, and my mama, she, my mama wasn't all, she wasn't even there. You know, you have to listen to them type of speeches. The tower, he blows up just about his past, about his childhood. This man is riddled with all types of emotional mess. You talking about going after a career. He would prefer you stay home and be subdued. He would prefer y'all bring another woman in y'all relationship. Okay. This man is kind of grimy. Like you've actually become a little too good for him over the years. Um, I get the impression that y'all's relationship started when you were very young. And you have not noticed. <laughs> y'all are not. Y'all didn't go in the same direction. Okay. He feels like you're a wildflower. You boring. Ain't nothing fun going on. Look, you trying to clean up your eating habits. And we can't even have no ribs now. Like, what's happening to you? The emperor, he's controlling. He's controlling. He's domineering. Look at this. Here you are, the queen of pentacles. You're trying to find a way to better yourself. You're trying to come into a career path and money. And here he is over here, laid back in his chair with his Hennessy in his hand and the remote. While you're trying to sit nice, you know, have some sophistication. You want to take some chances. You want to run out in the world and see what's out there. You're looking to kind of move around, maybe see what else there is for you to do. I have got to find out what this card means. Ephemeral. I, you know, I like to think of myself. I'm good with words, but I swear I don't know what ephemeral means. And I keep pulling it out of my little box. I'm going to have to find out. Spirit, Spirit wants me to do some vocabulary lessons. Three of Swords. Trying to stay with this man, throwing caution to the wind, being whoever it is you want to be, okay? Focusing on your career, continuing to stay in this relationship that's been the exact same from when you were young till today, and it will stay the same. It will leave you with your heart broken. And back to what we saw initially, you really need to... 
If you have to reach out to help and support, reach out to your angels, reach out to therapists if you have to, to start kind of disconnecting yourself from this. It's been such a long time, this person has been in your life. But who you are today, okay, is being held back by who this man is right now. And who is this man going to become? Okay, who is this man going to become? Because this man is, he, he, he's, he's just kind of, you know, we see this man may come into an awakening, but what kind of awakening? He may come into an awakening about you. Queen of Cups energy. Okay, we had some cards fall out. Okay, he sees you getting more focused and he realizes you're about to walk away. And he may try to promise you a new beginning as a result of that. But I get the feeling this is the third time he's done that. You're going to refuse this time. Four of Cups energy. You're going to refuse this time. You feel like y'all's relationship has become too insecure financially and emotionally. You feel like the relationship has grown cold. Five of Pentacles. You feel like you're often out in the, uh, in the cold. And here he is once again, hoping for a new beginning. Hoping that you'll put more into the relationship financially than what you get out, which is what it usually is. Here he is trying to dominate, trying to play more little tricks. We pull two more cards. Just before he blows up and leaves you crying and stressed out as always. I don't see you continuing to be in this. He is going to continue to make the exact same offer over and over and over. This is who he is. So... Whatever you need to do to start helping yourself to heal from this, you may want to consider doing it because the past, the present, and the future of this relationship does not change. It really doesn't because he's just being who he is. It's not, it's not even a lot more to know about him. This is it. So thank you for reaching on out to Divine Feminine Tarot T. Like, share, subscribe if this is somebody that you know and not yourself that you think needs to hear this message. And you know what? Look in the description box for the definition of ephemeral because <laughs> let's learn together because I don't even know what spirit it was trying to tell us about this reading. I swear I don't. I feel like I need to like do what we need to get on. Uh, what was it? Construction Junction? Uh, get Elmo in here? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 